We say it, we mean it. On Wednesdays, go ahead, ask us anything. Rebecca has been taking a look at your questions over the last couple of days. So, Rebecca, hit us and hit us hard. Well, we got some crazy ones. Some what? Some crazy. 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 Let's go crazy. You're crazy, girl. <laughs> you crazy. What did Bert find out a couple of weeks ago that really shook him up? News that made him not want to spar with Cassie the next day. <laughs> um... I know exactly where I left a, uh, you guys hanging a couple of weeks ago, and I'm going to do it again today. Um, <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> uh, I was very particular in the words that I used when I said that, though. I said that I got some jarring news at a doctor's office, and that can mean a whole bunch of different things. A lot of you guys um, assumed I was talking about myself and something physical. It was not, and that's all I'm willing to share. But it was jarring nonetheless, but there is nothing to be nervous about. Got it. It's just stuff that's going on in my family life. Mm -hmm. That's not my story to tell. And that's the end of that. But there's nothing going on here. We're, I'm good to go. Okay. You're healthy. Yeah, very. I just got my labs back and they were perfect. Turn your head and that's cough. A good day. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't have to come over here to do something like that. And it's going to cross all sorts of boundaries. Yeah. 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 This one's for Kristen. Yes, ma'am. A while back, you confessed that it had been two weeks since you had taken a shower. Was that your personal <laughs> no, record? No, no. Okay. Let's, I'll let you finish the question. We are rewriting Kristen's history. <laughs> yeah, you are. <laughs> Was that your personal record for longest stretch with no shower, or have you gone longer than that? Okay. I have never in my life gone two weeks without showering. It was three, actually. <laughs> for you? You've gone three weeks? No, I've making a oh, joke. Yeah. <laughs> um, I have gone several days without showering. My guess is they misheard. I have gone two weeks without washing my hair before, mm. but never two weeks without showering. So um, that is false news. <laughs> Fake news. Let's just continue this. Um, sure. Go ahead. Two weeks not pooping is going to be the new story. Okay, okay. cool. <laughs> <laughs> Which might have been true when I was a kid because I did have some serious constipation issues. You did? Oh, gosh, yeah. I would sit on the toilet for days. I had the same ones. Yeah. We talked about this. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I just, I wasn't a fan of pooping, so I would hold it. And mm -hmm. then before you know it, yeah. Yeah, my booty was just too small. So, okay, yeah. Yeah, they had to, yeah. Different, it, different issues. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> same problem, different issues. All right. Wow, love that. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> Riveting. <laughs> Neat. <laughs> Is Mo sad that he's too old to be in the Burt Show youth group? Oh, buddy. Aww. Aww. Yeah, man, I went to therapy about this last week. <laughs> I'm struggling with it. I'm trying to get through it. Um, no, I, I honestly never even thought twice about it. No, I don't. I don't think anything of it. It's no. all right, Mo. I'm starting up the BS A A R P. <laughs> He's not even eligible for that. He's yeah. a tweener. I'm like right in the middle. Yeah. I can't do anything. Okay, Abby, would you prefer a guy come and talk to you at the gym, the bar? Or a grocery store. <laughs> this is amazing because just in the last week, I have been approached in all three. Oh, that's yeah. great. And this is that's new. Great. This is great. This okay. is great news. This is amazing. Um, just getting approached in general means I'm I'm doing something right, apparently. I'm looking <laughs> approachable, which is great. This is an improvement for me. So I... I would say I I prefer the grocery store one because when I was at the gym, I, I'm really self-conscious about the way I smell. You know what I mean? Like after yeah. a workout, I'm like, mm, I know I don't really smell my best right now and not really in a flirtatious mood. But at the grocery store, I'm probably in a good mood because I'm getting some snacks. And um, yeah, I got approached in the in the cashier aisle. Nice. How did the dude? How, like, what, what was his say? line? Yeah. He um. So I guess this goes against everything I just said because I had just come from the gym. But he <laughs> he said good job because we, we both came from Orange Theory. So oh. He was like nice job, and I was like thank you. That was brutal, but yes, mm -hmm. I survived. Um, so I would say the grocery line. Oh, I'm did in you a more get digits because he like he you all were at the gym together. And then you're at the grocery store together. So but he's stalking you. Right. That's what I was thinking. <laughs> they follow you there? <laughs> no, he probably just wanted like a nice meal after our workout because mm -hmm. we worked really hard. No, I didn't get digits. He didn't ask. Oh, okay. All right. Maybe he's just setting you up, though. No. Yeah. He, you're definitely in his radar. Yeah. I'll see you next Thursday, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Long con. Does Bert give preferences to one host over the other? And everyone knows it. But no one mentions it, and it's just considered part of the gig. All right, let's mention it. I can't wait to hear this answer. <laughs> Who do I give preferential treatment to? I don't feel like you give preferential treatment to anybody. I just like all of you equally. Pretty much. <laughs> um, I do feel like 
just from like tenure, like you're clo- like you would naturally be closer to others than some, but I don't think that involves preferential treatment. And I like when you have similarities, like you and Mo have hung out individually and like done stuff together, but I never took that as preferential treatment. It's just because you all had something in common and you wanted to go out and do it. If that makes sense? Yeah, I mm-hmm. think that makes sense. I haven't noticed any kind of preferential treatment, but like, you know, it's a social setting. There are just some days where you're going to, where me and you're going to vibe one day and then there are days where you guys are going to vibe and then you guys have been doing this for 12 mm-hmm. years. Like, mm-hmm. it's only natural that you guys are going to default to talking to each other. Mm-hmm. Maybe more. I agree. Completely. KK. Yeah, yeah. Do you miss doing e just a little bit? Any notes for Abby? Well, we, that's why we went out to breakfast on Monday with no alcohol. <laughs> <laughs> There's no alcohol involved. Um, I would say like 1% of me misses doing e-buzz. On the whole, I was very happy to pass it on to Abby. And she and I did. We had it. I think she's crushing it. Um, I think this is naturally her arena. It's something she enjoys. So she delivers it with authenticity. Um and aside from like tweaking some teases or whatever, I think she's done a phenomenal job. And I told her so. And I also told her like, I'm not one to like blow smoke up your butt. Like <laughs> if you were, you know, if there were serious tweaks to be made, we would have been discussing them. But on the whole, I think her story selection is great. I think her delivery is great. I think like it's a conversation. It's not a report. I think she's crushing it. Has it um, accomplished what you wanted it to accomplish for you? Like freeing up some oh more. Oh my heads. god! Yeah, yes, yeah. the headspace that's been freed for me as far as like focusing on the Burt Show schedule. I'm able to do like the Pinot Period Party. I'm also doing stuff with Georgia Moms for Change, like and other like big projects for the Burt Show. It's literally lifted that mental load off of me, so I could focus on some bigger projects for the Burt Show. So thank you. Yeah, some of you guys have to realize this also that um, Kristen and I have been doing this for a long time, and when you do the same things over and over and over again every single day, it's not nearly as exciting. And burn out. when it's not as exciting, the product's not as good. So there are some parts about this job that we don't really talk about very much that I've asked Kristen to take over because, frankly, I was sick of doing it. <laughs> so, and I wasn't putting my heart into it. So she took those over. But when she did, and it's the same for her with Entertainment Bus. Exactly. Right? No, I'm, I'm very happy with the transition that's been made. Well, thank you. I appreciate that. I'll start getting my countries right, and then I'll be really <laughs> Switching really it, it. Okay. Yeah. Starts with an ass. Hey. Geography does not belong in <laughs> E-Bus. Yeah. That'll just be a hard roll. It is a Burt Show. The Burt Show. So, first, thanks for watching. Second, you like what you just watched? That just scratches the surface. Get the Burt Show on any podcast platform. We're so good.